So Under they may walk Eddie Mish on again, and then Dash yeah. has another chance yeah. to choke. Well, let's see what the umpires rule right. anyway. We'll and have then... to wait for the ASA ruling in the morning. Right, well, right. We can't jump Maybe ahead. later today. Okay, uh, Memorial okay. 2. Zerial Killers v versus... At 7 and 5 versus Cheesehead Nation. It's not just cheese. It's the Red Hot Cheesehead. The Red Hot Cheesehead right. Nation. Like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Red Hot Cheesehead. 7 and 5 versus 6 and 6. Um, this is we great. might add Serial Killers. Serial Killers also playing very good, consistent ball the whole year. Yeah. So uh, this is a good matchup. Um, I don't know. This could be uh, Cheeseheads. <laughs> Scary thought, but uh, I see Cheeseheads winning one. And uh, you know, I think a split here. I think it's gonna definitely uh, be in the making, but. Uh, if anybody's going to sweep, it's going to be Cheesehead. I would like to get a tape measure for this game, if we have a tape measure. Because I'm just thinking Jimmy Malak versus Red. And I hope you have enough clinchers, because I don't know if we're going to find them after he hits them. But I don't know. This I say definitely one. Not even a question. I could very easily see a sweep. Very easily see a well, sweep. Why would they, they, they might not pitch to Malak if he's so... Uh, you know, I don't know. Who's hitting behind him? There's, there's a good hitter hitting behind him. him. <laughs> After week one, I'm batting 520. After week one. So if they when, want to walk after, up, when did the year start? We played you. We played you. <laughs> Took me a little while to wake up. But uh, no, the team is playing great. And the truth is, uh, Ike Mavora. It's what, whatever he wants to do, that's what we're doing. But he has a field behind him also. His field, is, field. his field is rolling. This week, you were rolling. But throughout the course of the season, no, but say, I'm going to tell you something else. A lot of players are not even in the same position. There's about two or three players right now that are playing in the same position as when we played you. So you're That's saying it. you figured out your defense, yes. the war is humming yes. right now, you're ready to yes. go. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, you know, I, we're picking at the right time. This is the, this is the last week. So I see at least one, you know, maybe two. I don't know if, we, if two does anything differently for us, to tell you the truth. Well, I think one and two is the same There's no us. way to figure that out at this yeah, point. I don't think we could get first anyway, but you know, we'd like to win as many as we can. I'm gonna go with Cheeseheads winning game one. And then getting so rowdy and boisterous and confident with themselves, because each one's crazier than the next, that they have the letdown game in game two. I'll go with the split. Okay, and then uh, we got a Memorial <laughs> 3. <laughs> Typical <laughs> nonsense that you do. Uh, I like it. Huh? Maybe I'll pitch game two. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, like quarterback like is oh, the shirt. Yeah, okay, yeah. Memorial uh, 3, game. we have Watch Let's Out. Watch These are big games. Versus now the you, Dodgers. Yeah. Now you get to some big games here, because, you know, well, I don't know if this is going to be a big game or it's not going to be, depending on what happens over there. Right. Uh, you know, watch out could be, you know, if the uh, if the uh, protest is upheld and they end up losing the game, it's a meaningless game basically for them. Um, so now, but regardless, watch out versus Dodgers. Watch out all of a sudden with Mikey as their pitcher. And the Do I see the Dodgers rebounding, and uh, I think... Um, uh, I think they're going to take two of the Dodgers. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, Ike Adid, and I've been playing with him for a couple of years now since I'm in the league. I never saw him just disappear at the end of the game. I mean, he was really upset yesterday yeah. when Jimmy hit that shot over. I don't know if it's because his team didn't score enough runs, but he was gone at the end of that game, and he's going to have his team ready for the playoffs. He's not going to lose, I don't even think, one game to watch out. Definitely not two. And, you know, just go limping into the playoffs. He may not even make the playoffs if he loses two. Yeah. So I, I, I would think he's going to win two that game. I think they're going to win two. I like the Dodgers winning yeah. two here. Yeah. Yadid, Jackie Tao, that whole team. I was very impressed with their team when I played them. Um, uh, I, I think they're going to have an easy sweep. Yeah, again, yeah. Uh, that team also offensively is not really showing me uh, too much. You know, there's not that big bat in the middle of the lineup no. that's going to, you know. Right. I mean, they have some good pesky guys, fast guys, but nobody's going to really break the game open. I think um, the Dodger team's a very young team. Yeah, very young. You know, very young team. Other than Ike, the rest are really uh, young. Let's see, we got another call coming in. Congratulations, call. Are you win a YMSL t shirt? <laughs> I'll take a medium. Medium. Okay, we have double XL, that's all we have left. What's up, guys? How you doing? How are you, Mr. Towel? Everything good. Everything good. How are you doing, teammate Norman? Oh, is that Nathan Towel? Yeah, hey, Nate. Hall of Jackie. Famer Nathan Towel on the line. How are you doing? Everything cool. Everything good. Am I coming in loud? Yeah, yeah, you're coming good, in very good. good. Nathan, I want to ask you a question. You've been playing ball 30 years in this league. Have you ever seen anything like what's going on this year as far as the standings and the... Uh... Well, as far as the standings, it shows that uh, everybody's good. All the teams are good, very competitive. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun this year. Uh, we're going to go to the World Series Like 
Yeah, I mean, going into the last week, I mean, with one team out of seven clinching a playoff spot, and uh, the teams that started out seven and one might could conceivably not make the playoffs. I mean, I don't know how it gets any crazier than this. I mean, we were just talking. It could be like six teams that are seven and seven after the end of the season. So that would be fun. Is there <laughs> everyone's in still? Uh, well, there's a lot of uh, you know. We talked about the protest uh, game, which uh, you know I'm sure you're all, you're aware of it. You yeah, got all about it. you got an earful from uh, Eddie Michon yesterday, yeah. and uh, you know he knows every single rule. Yeah. yeah. Now he knows the rules, but actually the umpires, uh, you know, might have erred. They're meeting right now as we speak. They called a special emergency meeting tonight to, to review this, and uh, we hope to have an answer, uh, you know, by the end of before midnight or first thing in the morning. So, you know, but uh, what do you think uh, has gone wrong with your team? Was just uh, was it not as good as it uh, the record indicated, or are you just slumping, or what? Well, uh, speaking of defense, Nathan, uh, the catch you made yesterday, um, we were talking to the scorekeeper uh, before the game. He said in his long life that it was the best catch he's seen in many, many years. Uh, a full out, almost full extension uh, dive on the left field line over there. Tell us about that play. But Nathan, it seems like uh, this year you're playing uh, like you're uh, 28 years old again. Is anything catching the off season uh, that got you ready for uh, for 2011? What a throw. He threw a strike from left field uh, yesterday on a fly. Yeah. Very rare that a left fielder can, can reach the catch without even a bounce or yeah. anything to get uh, a speedy Eddie Rishti out at the plate. What was it, on a single? Or was um, it? it was on a single. Eddie was second. on second base. It was two uh -huh. outs. So Eddie was running on contact. Um, Nathan actually told him before the play that if you try to score, I'm going to throw you out. And Eddie, brash youngster, tried to score on Nathan's arm and he threw a strike to home plate and uh, wow. it, it's a beautiful thing to make the third out that way. Wow, great. Have a catch catches also, Nathan, thanks to you. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's why he's an all-star catcher. But Jason Sultan doesn't, didn't say the same thing last week. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Nathan, thanks for calling in. I'll see you guys. Alright, alright, good night. Bye-bye. Eddie from Baton Rouge on line one. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Is this? He did not walk off because it was a blast home run that was hit against him. He uh, walked off. It was an internal uh, batting uh, view. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, slow down. Oh, this kid. First of all, this is Eddie Hakim, the, yeah, the infamous have... Eddie Hakim that we all remember from the batting helmet uh, fiasco right. of week one. Um, and he's calling to explain that Ike D did not just walk off because Jimmy Malak hit a home run. But Eddie from Baton Rouge here is saying, a regular caller of ours, he's saying that his team and Yadid were discussing possibly Yadid batting instead of another everyday caller, Mark Sabog. Right? Mark batted instead of Ike? Correct. Mark should not be hitting two games, in my opinion. Uh huh. And uh, Ike's been pretty hot, so there's a little internal issue. Yeah. Right. Oh, so Ike wasn't too happy, and that's why he left? Yeah, yeah, he wasn't happy all game. Uh huh. Yeah, he looked, he didn't look, I mentioned that to someone today. I spoke to Maxie Sutton, he called me about the game, and I said, Ike was not the same guy. He's usually very, like, angry, very into the game. Talking to the other team, you know what I mean? He was very right, quiet. Right, he, he was not the same guy. He was not the same guy. He wasn't the same guy against us. Well, last Absolutely week, not. last week against us, he hit very well, like he did. Well, he didn't hit the first game either, or he did? No, he did hit the first game. And, he, and uh, Jackie didn't hit him the second game? It's, uh, it's surprising. Wow. Well, yeah. maybe Mark didn't hit the. Did Mark, did Mark Sabog hit the first game? He hit the first game and played the first game. Wow. Okay, so uh, play the wow. So Jackie Tao, I guess, makes the lineup, right? Yeah, Jackie Tao makes the lineup, but uh, you know. All right, so uh, some eternal oh, strife. That's yeah. uh, that's uh, good to keep in mind the rest of the way. You know, that could affect. That's also play. tough. I think if you're a pitcher that's like a veteran, like, how many years? He must got to be leave twenty five years, yeah. thirty years. And he's but got he has a captain hit, like that. He hasn't hit two games in a long time. I mean, he's you know, even when he was yeah. a captain, he used to. You know, right. Slow down. He hasn't been hitting two games. Yeah, if you have him slotted with somebody, you know, that's that's good. You know, but just to not have him hitting at all, especially when he's been hitting well, I don't agree with it. You know, but what he Yeah. I don't make the order. As long right. as you see your name on it, that's all you care about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Eddie. Thanks for the call. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, you guys, right, so thank you. Right, so uh, inside scoop, a lot of yeah, scoop. Yeah, a lot of scoop. Inside that's why you got to tune in. We want to thank YMSL Louisiana for that uh, scoop over there. Unfinished Business had a dispute with uh, Maurice and uh, Sammy Sutton. So you go to second place, insane. Uh, they seem to not have any disputes yet, but we'll, uh, well you try know, to uncover. Well, everybody in, the, in tune. Right. You but now we Dodgers. see the Dodgers had a dispute. Ali Yoop had a dispute. Uh, Zero Killers has Hammer and Hank, so I'm sure there's a dispute <laughs> somewhere over there. <laughs> And on and on and on. <laughs> All that was just a hammer. <laughs> yeah, so listen, yeah. this is what happens also, as we mentioned, when uh, later you go into the season and people are fighting for playoff spots, you know, there's no room for error. You know, there's a lot of short fuses, so. Yeah, um, for sure. But uh, this week, again, we mentioned, uh, so now we're to alley versus Insane uh, wow. at Meadowbrook. Um, alley uh, coming in again, losing uh, five out of six, and um, we looked first, ahead. Say, we, losing three. We looked ahead to this game weeks ago, and we said yeah, this we is for first place, and this is for the but ball. But technically, you know, it still could be for first be, place, and be. it could be one of the teams get knocked out of playoffs yeah. altogether. Yeah. So it's a crazy uh, day. Insane's got three games that day, um, but that you know, Leo, that he's a young guy, he should not really affect him too much. Um, I see. Uh, I see uh, Ali Oop uh, and Insane splitting this game. I think uh, the Insane three game losing streak uh, turns into four and then turns into five. Oh, really? And then, really? Uh, and then turns into the six. six. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see that happen. I want I to see know. as much mayhem as we could possibly get over here. Right. I'm going with Ali Oop. Bringing out the brooms this week. Brooms! And wow. turning our season back around, ready for the playoffs. All right, maybe we'll hear from Jack. Uh, I'll give you my prediction after the call. All we got right. a call over here. Jared from New Brunswick, you're on the air. Hi, Bobby. Yeah. How's it going, Doug? Hey, what's going on, Mr. Hello. Teammate? How are you, Jared? How's it going? I just uh, want to, um, you know, Doug's a very humble guy, but, uh, you know, I think he needs to get a shout out here. Very, <laughs> very, very humble. Very humble. <laughs> I want to, uh, I just want to say, you know, not many guys, you know, their captains will bash themselves, you know, guys 
Celtics first pick all year long. You know, yeah. you know he's been a captain. You know, he doesn't talk much, but you know what he did yesterday, coming in and saying, you know, maybe it's someone better that can play the position that I can, and really sitting it out. And you know, that was really big of him, and I really just want to, you know, shout out for that. Right, thank but, you, but thank Jared, you. did you say that in week one when he platooned you? Uh, no. I, that's what I'm calling him to, uh, you know, just to say how far we've come yes. as, the, uh, as a cheese head organization. Right. <laughs> and, I also, and I just want to say one other thing about next week. Uh, unlike my immature brother, who uh, guaranteed a, a, a sweep of the uh, Red Nesser-led uh, Zero Killers, I, on the other hand, am not taking Red lightly. I know what he's capable of. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough matchup, but, uh, you know, I think we, uh, it's going to be good games. Yeah. Well, what's sure. your prediction on the outcome of those games? Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get at least one. That's, you know, that, that's the, that's the golden number for, uh, getting into the playoffs. Yep. So, you know, we're going to shoot for one, two would be great, but definitely no guarantees over here, though. Yep. yep. And uh, so what's, uh, what's the talk around the household uh, with the uh, Grip It and Rip It organization? Grip It and Rip It organization, I'll tell you right now, Grip It and Rip It organization, in my mind, I think is probably the third best team in the league. I think, I think I've been saying all year long, Maurice Haber is the best team in the league. They have sick lineup, best pitcher in the league. I think they're the best team. And then I think the team we played yesterday, the Dodgers, I think was probably also... Um, you know, right up there with IQT, they're also a tough team. But my brother's team, they're, they're an excellent team. They're, you know, they're, they're not hitting well now, but they have a very good lineup. And uh, AB Sack is pitching great, and, you know, they can really do some damage. But I, but, but I, I will say this. I've been saying all year long, no one's listening to me, but I've been saying Marshall, alley has been the most overrated team. Sorry, Norman. <laughs> saying I should tell you in front of my uh, my network associates here you woke up our team you sent out some nice crazy email enough is enough we got you know where are the emails what's going on you guys are sleeping you woke us all up and now we're starting to play a lot better so That's right, baby. thank you Watch too cheese heads, right. it's a cheese head love fest tonight all right thanks for all calling right, in Jared care. take care man. And Bobby, when Have things a, are going yeah. good, everyone loves, everyone each, other. loves each other. You were telling me strife. Right. Another disgruntled cheese head. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Ezra Tavelli. You know, people are talking about uh, what a good sport he is taking himself at. <laughs> Maybe some of those errors had something to do with it at first. Right. Place. I don't know. <laughs> I don't so the key to turning around this season was taking yourself out of the game. Correct. Interesting. Or did Victor take you out? One no, of Victor's you. awesome. Oh. Victor's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, All the right, last matchup. Uh, Wait, my prediction. Oh, oh. Alley Oop Insane. The Pooper. Alley Pooper. I think I'm going to have to give you a game. I got Alley and Nathan Towel. You have too much going on. You're not winning two. I don't think Mo Sham is just going to tank the whole season, but you'll win one and he'll win one. So that's it. You're going to split. You uh, win two. We got one uh, more call coming okay. in. That's it. All right. Last one. Last call coming in. And then, we're, uh, and then we, and we got Tiger more. Blood versus winning. And. Um, Oh boy, this <laughs> this could be a major garbage game, uh, depending on the situation here. Uh, Ty, honestly, there's so many things going into this Before game this right game, now. Before, I know, we don't we even can't know. even we can't Very even talk tough. about this game. It could be even a, a yeah. playoff uh, scenario here, so it could be a huge game at uh, at Fireman. So we gotta we gotta figure this one out and see how uh, you know. Well, let's see what winning... I don't understand this winning team. They, they lose to grip it and rip it 2-1. to one. Okay. Oh. Then they go so ahead and lose got, to watch out. 5-2. to two. But then they go and beat yeah. insane. Say Bon Tom. Michael Solomon, you're on the air. Uh, um, I didn't watch the live broadcast. Thank you for taking my last minute call. But I'm getting repeated phone calls and text messages and all kinds of bullshit. Uh. That my name is under protest for whatever. Please explain to me this situation before we have a major episode live on this channel. <laughs> and the lava is erupting <laughs> from Mount St. July 6th. You're going to see a major eruption any minute if I don't like what I hear. So please 
tell me what's going on. Well, apparently, uh, you saw the play that developed with Mikey Shalom uh, backing up as a pitcher <laughs> on a throw from the outfield, correct? Correct. Okay, apparently, the ball was rolling out of play, and Mikey made a great play to pick up the ball. Unfortunately, as the ASA rule stands, he might have had, we're still getting really one foot out of play, which is... Not true. Is there any kind of evidence supporting this? Uh, it's called the umpires. And what, what about the call that they made live on the field? Okay, well, the problem is the umpire signed the statement that the man had, the, the player had his foot out of play. But and when did he decide this? They signed it at the field, actually. But no, he, he, did he he decide that he was wrong, or thought he saw this, and then decided to bring this up? No, he he never doubted the fact that he had his foot out of play. He didn't know. He did not know the rule till the rule was. Ex huh? that, that's absolutely too bad if he thinks he saw that. I'm sorry, you cannot overrule this. This is there's no instant replay. I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> No, but but that's a judgment call. That's a judgment call. It's a judgment call on the field, and the play went on. We won the game, and that's the end of it. No, I'm I'm quite, it doesn't work like that, Michael. This is not a judgment call. This is a rules call. Right. So. yet they're meeting tonight unfortunately if they come back and win the game they still have a chance so they're not out of it either way okay listen, that's, all right that's your uh, that's your decision but I mean the yeah. rule is a rule Thank you. Well, Michael, if the shoe was in the other foot and you were uh, didn't get the right rule, had it been the right rule and he did not know the rule, don't you think you would have wanted to correct him? I'm sorry, no. Thankfully, we have the seven-second <laughs> delay. I love that. And seven-second delay. All right, and, and Michael Solomon comparing uh, this to a, a call at first base safe for. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, oh, I to him in the ear. Huh? Okay, no, so Bobby, basically, um, I think uh, we're all happy that we're not involved in any decision that's going to uh, be made over here. Yeah, ASA has got some tough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I have uh, uh, two brother-in-laws in the life insurance business <laughs> and a father-in-law and uh, it was right, just, well, you give one of them a call. <laughs> so uh, getting back to Tiger Blood versus... <laughs> 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 yeah, JT. Cool, you're on the air. Jackie yeah, from Deal, how you doing? What's doing, JT? Nothing much. Uh, yeah, it's fun. show a great show. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What's going on, JT? Um, nothing much. I mean, uh, what's good? I mean, uh, I'm getting here to ask questions, no interviews, no anything. I have to say, I'm No, I'll ask you the question. Here's the interview, uh, JT. Well, I'm busy. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me get an interview right now. Okay, JT, captain <laughs> of the Dodger organization, sitting at 7 and 5, all star center fielder. What's going on with Eddie Hakim? Uh, a player on your team questioning your lineups as you put up uh, Maurice Sabog instead of Ike Yadid. Mark, Mark Sabog. Mark Sabog. <laughs> what I said. I don't know where you're getting that information from, but uh, it's not true. My team never spoke to me about this. But um, uh, listen, the 
No, 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 we know that Hakeem's hitting well. Where a Hakeem wants Yadid to be batting instead of Sabon. Yeah, yeah Yadid, no, Yadid will be batting throughout the uh, rest of the season. He'll be batting every game. Really? Yeah. Now, so, did uh, Ike... Uh, oh, uh, oh yeah. Sabon's out of the lineup now? What did he say? He didn't say who's out of the lineup, uh, but Ike <laughs> Yadid is in the lineup. Uh, um, Jackie, was Ike um, vocally upset that he wasn't in the lineup in game two? Was he vocal? Uh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was. And now, how does it work uh, in the locker room with you being a young... How old are you? I'm 21. So you being 21 years old, answering to Ike D, who's been in the league for 21 years, maybe. Um, <laughs> More than double your age. You know, how does it work in the locker room when he's demanding an at-bat and you're telling him, no, I'm going to put uh, Sabog in your place? Um, yeah, no, what's the... What's the uh, I don't really hear the whole thing, again. The question is... How do you, as being such a young captain, answer a veteran uh, like answer a uh, veteran like Ike Dean and tell him, you know what? I know you want to bat, but you're not batting. No, uh, I consider myself a veteran. Also, only five years in the league, I consider myself a veteran. So um, I think I could, uh, you know, I, I think I could tell him. Yeah. You know? Okay, very right, good. That's good. All right, Jackie. Good luck the rest of the way, and uh, the Dodge is sitting pretty good at seven and five, and uh, we hope to. Uh, We'll have to uh, see you in the finals against Ali Oop. Let me ask you about uh, Jimmy Malak's uh, shot. Would you say it's the furthest shot you've ever seen? Welcome to the Jimmy Malak uh, home run show here. That's what he says. Uh, truth is, truth is, yeah, I'll tell you a little shower. That's the truth. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, Jack. All right. You have a nice team. Now my radar, I'm definitely choosing that to play uh, a Jimmy Metric. What? Wow. Uh, who? What did he say? I didn't hear. I'll call it out from now. She says no my pick. So it's my choice. So wow! Awesome. If he gets to pick who he wants in the playoffs, oh, he wow. gets to choose us. then. Oh, right. Wow! Okay. Good. Good. Right. Good. Both, both and board material. I guarantee it's sweet as well. Oh boy! <laughs> I like these guys. Another these. disgruntled cheesehead fan. This All right, is awesome. Thank you. you. Thanks, Jack. Good night. All right, you got it. A young uh, phenom like yeah. uh, JT, not afraid to tell Ike Deed. You're not batting. Yeah. Not afraid to answer the entire Cheesehead Nation <laughs> and tell them that he wants to play them in the playoffs and he's going to sweep them. Wow. This is the future of the league like right here. I like it. All right. That's it for tonight. I don't know how you can top this wait, show. Yeah, wait. Tiger blood versus winning. All right. We'll talk about that next week. Right now we're uh, out of time. Um, uninterrupted uh, episode today. We don't have time for commercial break. Uh, right. Our sponsors are not too happy with us, but... Uh, I have winning winning three games this week. Yeah, we Insane have. losing three, three games this week. How many games? Watch out. Uh. <laughs> and watch out not playing. All right. All right. That's it for uh, tonight. You heard it for week six recaps. Good night. Good night.